I for one believed and do believe that the Republic exists because it exists upon the only sure foundation upon which any government or Republic can exist. That is because the people gave a mandate for that Republic to be declared. To my mind, the Republic does exist. It is a living, tangible thing, something for which men gave their lives, for which men were hanged, for which men are in jail, for which the people suffered, and for which men are still prepared to give their lives. My idea is the Workers' Republic for which Connolly died, and I say that that is one of the things that England wishes to prevent. She would sooner give us home rule than a democratic republic. It is the capitalist interests in England and Ireland that are pushing this treaty to block the march of the working people in England and Ireland. Why if instead of being so strong, our last cartridge had been fired, our last shilling had been spent, and our last man were lying on the ground, and his enemies howling round him, and their bayonets raised, ready to plunge them into his body, that man should say, true to the traditions handed down, if they said to him, now will you come into our empire? He should say, and he would say, no, I will not. Despite many Irish peace efforts in the first half of 1922, the British government insisted that the new provisional government of the Free State must attack the anti-treaty IRA in the four courts, and so it did in June 1922. A tragic civil war began, which was to take many lives on both sides as well as many innocent civilians. Cahal Brewer was one of the first to fall. The treaty confirmed the partition of Ireland and the establishment of the sectarian Northern Ireland state. There was a renewed pogrom against non-unionist civilians, including the murder of the McMahon family and the massacres of Weaver Street and Arnon Street in Belfast. The forces of the Orange State were to the fore in this pogrom, which was designed to drive nationalists into second-class citizenship or out of the North altogether. By November 1922, the Republican forces were on the retreat everywhere, and the Free State government began a policy of executions of Republican prisoners. In Mountjoy Jail, Liam Mellows wrote that the wealthy and privileged back the treaty and oppose the Republic. We are back to tone, relying on that great body, the men of no property. We should recognise that definitely now and base our appeals upon the understanding and needs of those who have always borne Ireland's fight. Mellows was proved correct. Ireland was divided into a deeply sectarian state in six counties and a deeply conservative state in 26 counties that persisted for decades. But the vision of the Irish Republic survived, and it lives today, as we plan and prepare for a new united Ireland. I have no regrets, for the future of Ireland is assured. We die for Ireland, for the Republic, for that glorious cause that has been sanctified by the blood of countless martyrs through the ages, the cause of human liberty. The Republic stands for truth and honour, for all that is noblest in our race.